Sunday 24th, August 2014, 10.06, bank holiday weekend, grey but not raining. Lunch in the um, Malcolm Uphill I think. Unless you're sure you can kick off, you don't get your favourite spot. Close. Anyway, this one's for Bitman. Hashtag, it's not hashtag, at Bitman on Twitter. I don't tell that much, it's true. Creamy. Maybe overly creamy. Bittery. Hey, it's a bit vinegary. Give it a pee. Yeah. Great news, back in normal spot. Great view of the carpet. Look at that, Mr. Manning. Look at those blues. Deep and lovely. This is Citra Session IPA by Green Flash Brewing at one and a half. Something like that. He says as he goes in for the emergency suckage. Mmm. Smells. Not very citrusy. In fact, it smells more citrusy than tastes. It's a little weak on the citrus front. And as IPAs go, it isn't. Sorry, B plus. I'm adjusted. They must look. Well, kind of all the same. This is from the Vogue, Vela Glamorgan Brewery, the posh part. <laughs> a bit of a weird in the Vela they are actually. Uh, this is Dakota, an American red ale, 4.5%. I remember last time I had this, it was like, yeah. Anyway, ordered um, beef dinner, 4 99 including this. Um, broke one large, um, extra Yorkshire pudding, extra roast potato, extra uh, sage and onion stuffing bowl. Sage. Sage, sir. Yes, yeah, all right. B plus. Nothing special. And so, on to the next day. Late Summer Bank Holiday Monday 2014, which is the 25th of August and it's 06.22, British Summer Time. This is British Summer, Kipley Railway Station. Strange world we live in. Trains are running Saturday service, buses, Sunday Bank Holiday service. Hence the journey to Cardiff. It's drizzling. It's supposed to be heavy rain, but it's drizzling, which I can cope with. Anyway, Ernest Willows to start. Hmm, not drizzling here, just moisture in the air. And I still haven't finished the station. Starbucks is open. Now there's a thought. Rosalind, but there is certainly water in the air. Yeah. And it is now hammering down outside. Okay, this is not a lager. It's a golden ale. Cocker hoop by Jennings. 4.6% alcohol by volume. Nice big head. Slowly clearing. Okay, uh, carpet. Hmm. Well, it's not craft. It's only lightly bittered. That's quite pleasant. I give it a B plus. Mostly seems like golden or amber ales today. This is Alton's Pride. Malton Towers? Who knows? 
from Triple F Brewery, never heard of them before, 3.8% alcohol by volume. And very friendly bar staff here in the in this Willows. I must tweet. Cold. Creamy, bitter. I would say that's an English bitter. A good standard English bitter. B plus. And they're open. Yeah. Oh, right. Nice pieces of wine, bro. This is what's listed 4.5. Listen to um, the No Hint Brothers deconstructing the ice bucket challenge. It sounds slightly different. Crafty, different. Plus, plus. Okay, Pitman, look at those bubbles. Chef and Mallet meets the Belgian farmhouse. Wow. Wow again. E plus plus. You need to sip it. Listen to the No Agenda show. Bit and what chips to have. Oh, yeah. No Agenda show. No Fires Weekly. The City Arms. And through the window you can just see the open top house. There's beer around you. There's a lot of beer around here. <coughs> anyway, Thornbridge, Kipling, not Jaipur, Kipling, 5.2%. They asked me if I wanted uh, a jug or a straight glass. My answer is the beer that's more important. Anyway. the Greggs chicken tikka baguette that's easily a B plus plus